got you stuck. Got, got you stuck off, off, off the rail. The, the realness. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's Super Bowl Sunday. And I know just like you, we're waiting to see these two powerhouse teams go against one another. Representing the NFC, we got the San Francisco 49ers with that power offense with Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, leading this team, trying to get to what? Their sixth Super Bowl. Then across that field, we got Patrick Mahomes. All the what? The GOAT, what they're calling him. They say he might be the GOAT. He might overcome Tom Brady. This is his fourth Super Bowl in five years. And of course, you got my ex-coach. We couldn't get him a championship, but he went down there to Kansas City and everything seemed to open up for Big Ray. I'm talking about Andy Reid. And they're trying to get their fourth Super Bowl. Man, this is going to be a great game. But you know what's odd though? It doesn't feel like Super Bowl Sunday. And the reason why I think it doesn't feel like Super Bowl Sunday because everybody is talking about Taylor Swift. Oh, man. It seems as though that you can't turn on the news channel. They are wondering if Taylor Swift's going to be at the game. I know she's supposed to be in, I believe, Tokyo last week or last night. And she got on her private jet. And what did I see when I turned on the news this morning? Oh, Taylor Swift has landed. They got extra security making sure that she's getting to the game. But we should be talking about how these two power offices and two of these great defenses are going to be going against one another tonight. But we are talking about Taylor Swift. And, and don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against Taylor Swift. But when I'm watching the football game, I don't want to see the camera pan to her on every play. I'm talking about when Travis Kelsey catches a pass. Oh, if Travis Kelsey runs a route. Or if Travis Kelsey drops a ball. I, I don't want to see Taylor Swift's reaction. I want to see the action on the field. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is the new, I guess, Romeo and Juliet. I shouldn't say that because they both died at the end of uh, Romeo and Juliet. But I guess they're the new love story. And it's good for the NFL because their rating has gone up since Taylor Swift started going to the game. But we casual fans or diehard fans, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see it. We don't care about that. All we care about is what's going on on that field between those two lines. Taylor Swift. If I wanted to see her on the camera or if I wanted to see her, I would go to one of her concerts. I don't want to see her today. Every time. It's crazy that, you know, we have seen celebrity girlfriends or fiancés or, or whatever before. You know, you remember when Tony Romo and Jessica Simpson was dating? Then we had Reggie Bush and Kim Kardashian. But it seems as though that Taylor Swift, the number one, I guess, female artist in the world, or she may be the number one artist in the world. She brings a different look to the NFL. And they're eating it up. But they're also losing a lot of fans, a lot of hardcore fans, because they don't want to see that. They really don't want to see that. They want to go and watch the game and not see Taylor Swift or hear the announcer saying Taylor Swift or see Taylor Swift swag surfing. It, it, it's driving me crazy. And I know a lot of people probably saying, man, on the street, you are hating. No, I'm not hating. I'm just expressing my opinion about how I want to see this football game. Taylor Swift, great artist. She's probably a great person, but don't want to see her today. I, but I know I don't have a choice because they're going to pan to her as soon as the football game starts. The announcement's going to start. Taylor Swift is in the house. Every play, Taylor Swift's going to be up on the stream, you know, even when Usher probably performed, they probably paying the Taylor Swift to see how she's doing. 
Or they might just cut Usher out of the Super Bowl and let Taylor Swift perform. See, <laughs> that, that's how crazy it is. And she not got me going crazy. She also got Republicans going crazy. Oh, man. You, it, it, it just seems as though it's a phenomenon. It's like a tsunami has striped America when it comes down to this love story of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man on the street sounds like he's hating, but he's not hating. He just wants to embellish the Super Bowl and what it is. Two great teams going back and forth. The outcome to be settled on the field. Win or lose, it's going to be a great game. But will it be a great game if they keep showing Taylor Swift every damn time? I don't think so. Is, is it me? If it's me, let me know down in the comments what you think. The man on the street wants to know.